let's uh, let's talk about some lyrical content on your album. In the song Apologize, uh -oh. you say that you heard us before, but that was just a little sample. We're back for more to set a worse example, which obviously there's people out there that, you know, kind of think that you have a bad influence on kids, you know, singing songs about suicide in a campy sing-along kind of way. Do you guys think you set a bad example? I think most kids I meet are worse than I am. <laughs> I was much worse when I, I was 16 than I am now. They, they, uh, they already know what's going on. So I don't think making songs that celebrate those facts is something they're just finding out or anything like that, you know? Yeah, and to set a bad example, like he said, like when I was 16, I was worse than the kids that I meet now. Like, but to kind of like just be open about it and talk about it, say some kid's thinking something weird in his head and just the fact that you can talk to them about it, connect with them, they're open about it, and then it's like, okay, there's other people out there that feel like that. So it's like, it's, I think we're, you know, maybe we are sending back example. I think it's kind of good that other kids, like, have an outlet. Like, that's the way I look at it. When I was 16, I didn't have that. I agree with you. I think extreme music in general, um, the beauty of it is that you find somebody that you're like, oh, wow, this person is talking about the stuff I feel about. So you could connect with that, and that's therapeutic in a way, instead of just being like, oh, I strive to be like so-and-so. That's, that's the whole Absolutely. point. Whether it's positive or negative, it's therapeutic in a sense, where like, it's really helping in a sense. So. I agree, I agree. So you guys wear uh, masks on stage, but they don't really last long. You take them off uh, fairly quick into your set. And I read in a recent interview, uh, Charlie Scene said that it's because it's harder to connect with the fans with the masks on because they don't know if you're like smiling or you're being serious. Is that why you take the masks off so quick or is it because you're like, hey now? He took it off because he gets like free uh, dollar menu by the Jack in the Box yeah. by his house. So people start recognizing him, he gets free meals. That's why he took his mask off. <laughs> the only reason we ever wore him is because he doesn't like shaving. Uh, Are you serious? No. <laughs> like, come on. That's why I grew my beard out. This is my new mask right now. So the mask thing is just like to come out and get the shot. It was really for here. more of like a visual representation of the right. band. We wanted to do something cool with that. So and, people could connect. Yeah, and so we image. come out with them so that people can still have that connection. And after that, he's totally right. It's really if you can't express yourself, you know, visually, mm -hmm. you know, using your face or whatever. And people are looking at you, they have no idea what's going on. So it's, it's hard to look someone in the eye when you're wearing something that's like that. That's kind of smart, though, because otherwise you just look like another tattooed rock yeah, dude that's what for I'm a saying. We felt our music was different. You take our masks off, we've got black hair and tattoos. Every band has that. We're like, our music is different. Why not look different? Like, that's the way we look at it. Smart. So you guys Very are on smart. tour now. Tell me about the tour. What can we expect? And are there any special exciting things going on? The tour, uh, it's the Revolt Tour, and it goes mm -hmm. through for, I think, a couple more months. And... Um, we're super excited about it, and we got 10 years on the road with us, which is a band we like. And um, there's a lot, di a lot different, uh, a lot of different production stuff, lighting, and we got like smoke cannons yeah. and these it's cool a lot things. Of visual yeah. stimulation. We really yeah. stepped That's it up, cool. like with uh, production-wise. Besides, like we added new songs, but like we knew we couldn't hit the road. And, like let's add new songs and do what we did before. Like let's step it up. So we had a lot of production. So like kids who have seen us before come back and we'll be wowed like oh my god like that's, that's rad we want it to be like the favorite show every time people see us we want it to be like their favorite show so we try our hardest to do that and we really think we're doing that this tour i heard from a lot of people that you're super entertaining live i'll actually be seeing you guys for the first time in a couple of days so i'm really excited guys gonna, thank you I'm so much for coming to the top 20 congratulations yeah. on the new record guys pick up american tragedy it is out in stores now